and a very warm welcome here today. My name is Padre Ben Norton and it's my honour and privilege to be able to lead this rededication service. We have our orders of service and we will go through them, uh, so please join in with the ball type uh, as and where. So let's just take a moment of stillness and silence as we gather ourselves, our thoughts, our minds in this place. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The eternal God is our refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. Trust in the Lord at all times. For out your heart before him, God is our shelter. And so as we gather in this holy and sacred moment, Father God, you are the Lord of life and conqueror of death. You are our help in every time of trouble. We thank you for the assurance of the gospel that is in your keeping the souls of the faithful find lasting peace and joy. And that though we see those who have gone before us no more, they are safe with you. By the glorious resurrection of your Son, confirm in us the hope of eternal life and enable us to put our whole trust in your goodness and mercy through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Number 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 19 through 26 If only for this life we have hope in Christ. We are all of people most to be pitied. But Christ has indeed been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through a man, the resurrection of the dead comes also through a man. For as in Adam all die, so in Christ all will be made alive. But each in turn Christ, the first fruits, then when he comes, those who belong to him. Then the end will come when he hands over the kingdom to God the Father after he has destroyed all dominion, authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to do be destroyed is death. John, chapter 15, verses 9 to 13. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this, so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. <coughs> the young dead soldiers do not speak. The young dead soldiers do not speak. Nevertheless, they are heard in the still houses. Who has not heard them? They have a silence that speaks for them at night and in the dead camps. They say, we were young, we have died, remember us. They say, we have done what we could, but until it is finished, it is not done. They say, we have given our lives, but until it is finished, no one can know what our lives say. They say, our deaths are not ours, they are yours. They will mean what you make them. They say, whether our lives and our deaths were for peace and a new hope, or for nothing, we cannot say. It is you who must say this. We leave you our deaths, 
give them their meaning. We were young, they said. We have died, remember us. I speak in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We stand here today as relative strangers in what is really an unfamiliar place to honour the life of a man <coughs> that we didn't meet. Yet, we are connected. Sometimes, it's easy to forget just how connected we are. Late last night, when I got to my room, I picked up my phone to find a message. The message was quite unexpected. But what it told me is that Kevin is actually one of my relatives. And so therefore, so is called Skinner. Quite an amazing coincidence, God incident. We are all connected on so many levels, yet at times what we focus on is what divides us and what we consider to be different. Kevin, I mean, I've had this planned anyway, but it's a little bit more poignant now. I have some gifts for you. The first of which is a replica uh, that was given to all uh, serving members of the First World War. And it is uh, the Gospel of St. John. And you can see it's just a small pocket gospel with rounded corners so that as it was put in the breast pocket of the soldiers, it wouldn't get too damaged. But this is a sign and symbol of the past. That Frederick would have read this probably. He would have heard the words that we have just spoken that Matt brought to us from St. John's Gospel. And the second gift is this rather odd looking thing, but the Mother's Union in York have knitted thousands of these, well maybe not thousands, maybe hundreds of these, um, and they are all for the soldiers of the Yorkshire Regiment today. And in it is a little cross and a prayer. So just uh, as soldiers were given the Gospel of John, so they're also given this small cross that they can keep in their pocket. A link between the Yorkshire Regiment of yesteryear and today. So as we stand here, like I say, as strangers in this place, we are connected by so many things, not more so than hope, faith and love. Hope that we can commit ourselves to building a better world. Faith that the promises of God can be trusted and upon which we can choose to build our lives. And love, that is, as Corporal Skinner laid down his life, so we can embrace that same love so as Corporal Skinner laid down his life, so we can embrace that same love that connects us all through the ages. They shall not grow, well, they shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will, we will remember, remember them. them.
Lieutenant Matthew Layman on behalf of the Yorkshire Regiment. Kevin Knights, the great nephew of the King. Commonwealth War Graves Commission. Royal British Legion, Lord Mother Calais. Say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. So our final blessing. So may the peace of God, which is beyond understanding, guard your thoughts in Christ Jesus. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you and all those that you love, care, and pray for, both this day and forever.